Starters for Lakewood, number zero, senior guard Jacoby Boykins, number one, senior forward Michael Clark, number three, junior guard Anthony Lawrence, number four, senior guard Chuck Ellison, and number 25, senior forward Jimmy Robinson. And for Roosevelt, number three, senior Talon Webb, the point guard, number four, senior forward Adam Turner, number five, junior forward London Harrell, number 11, freshman point guard Jamal Jamal Baker, and number 23, senior forward Leo Goodman. So we're underway, Roosevelt wearing the white uniforms with the uh, orange, red letters and numerals, and Lakewood in the black unis with the gold trim, gold letters and numerals, gold stripes. Jumper no good. From about 12 feet for Leo Goodman, and we're underway in an elimination matchup. This Lakewood is. comes in uh, under 500, but this is a team that has a chance to get to the Final Four in 5A this year. Very loaded field in 5A. Left-handed hook shot, no good from about 12 feet. It really is. Cardinal Gibbons playing in this tournament as well. There's a run out and a layup for Roosevelt. And that is Leo Goodman. Roosevelt about an hour north of L.A. They're located in Eastvale, California, in the Inland Empire, as they call it. Pass inside to Anthony Lawrence. Lawrence reverse, good. Anthony Mustangs. That's 2-2 it's two -two early on. Winner will play tomorrow. There's a three left wing in and out, no good by Jacoby Boykins. Winner will play tomorrow at 12.30. It's the winner of our game upcoming between Donellan and Sandalwood at 2.30. The loser will be eliminated from the Kingdom of the Sun. And even though this is Von Webb's first year with Roosevelt, he did bring a, king, a team to the Kingdom in the past as he brought Fresno, California, Washington Union. Nice pass underneath and a layoff again for Goodman. Yeah, and that team had Deshaun Stevenson on it. Yep. Quick start for Leo Goodman, who led his team in scoring yesterday with 15. He's got four, all four of the Mustangs' points. Yeah, Roosevelt led the game last night against Cardinal Gibbons at the half. It was a low score in the first quarter, 7-5 Cardinal Gibbons led. Roosevelt was up at the half by two, but then Cardinal Gibbons had a big third quarter. Pulled away to a double-digit lead most of the second half and won the game. That was the late game last night, so now Roosevelt has to play the... <laughs> 10.30 a.m. Pacific time game here today, as you would say. 1.30 Eastern. Well, as they played the late game last night, so a quick turnaround for the Mustangs. I would think they're acclimated now after having a couple of nights. Yep, baseline jumper from 15. Good, there's Goodman again. Six for Goodman, 6-2 the score. Ball to Roosevelt. Pass underneath to Goodman, who lays it in again. Entry pass from Marcus Williams. Goodman has eight. All eight. Yeah, eight four halfway through the first quarter. Now cross court pass is tipped away by Goodman. Going it at both ends. Yep, that'll stay with Lakewood. Leo Goodman, the senior, right in the way of the ball there. I asked him, is that your brother? And he said, let's go with that. <laughs> eight four. That foul was on Taylor, his first 14th on Roosevelt. Boykins for three. He hit the very front of the rim. Now on a run out, and here's Williams. Marcus Williams around to Finner, throws it up, can't get it to go, but Williams. And average 21 points, eight rebounds, four steals. Offers from Clemson, Florida Atlantic, Florida International, Louisiana Tech, Miami, and Texas A&M. It's one of two there. He's got three points driving in. Goodman will hit it to the corner. The three too strong by Daniel DeHoya. And here comes Boykins. Boykins around one defender. Now around another defender. Finger roll doesn't go with the left hand. Rebounded by Roosevelt. There comes Taylor. Top of the key to Adam Turner. Inside to Goodman. Goodman turn around off the glass. Good again. Good man. Boy, what a, hand, what a quarter. Ten. <laughs> ten double figures already. Ten of the 11. It's 11-5. Roosevelt by six. Better start today for the Mustangs than they had last night against Cardinal Gibbons. Lawrence to the middle of the lane. Missed about a 10-footer short. Looked like he wanted a foul. Now the other way. Here's Goodman. Goodman around Lawrence. Goodman. And nope, we're going to have an offensive foul. Goodman ran over the much better at Lakewood in football. Nice cross court pass. Now off to Goodman. Two 18 feet from the left corner. Good boy, he is hitting everything outside. In his home. And the assist to Jalen Taylor. It's 13 8. Dallison now with four, who only had six yesterday. Yep. And that had it not been for Leo Goodman, this Roosevelt team would be struggling. And that will be the end of the opening period of our elimination game here 
this afternoon. Leo Goodman with 12 points. Roosevelt leads throughout the first quarter, and they lead Lakewood 20-13 to 13 as we head to the second period. We'll return after this break on the NFHS Network. Throw Lakewood had three players score. Anthony Lawrence with six, including the only three of the quarter for Lakewood. Four points for Jock Ellison, three points for Jacoby Boykins. Jumper from the left baseline, no good by Watson. And on the rebound, we'll have a foul coming up. And it's going to go against Jacoby Boykins of Lake, or uh, pardon me, out of the second quarter. Lawrence over in the left wing to Ellison. Now spun around right wing. This is Boykins. Boykins a long three is in and out. No good. And the rebound to Leo Goodman. Webb to Goodman. Three top of the key. Way out there. No good. Short this time. Tip again by Williams. Second free throw is no good. Rebound to Roosevelt. Now left wing jumper. Goodman shot in and out. Now he can't get to get it to go from 18 feet. Rebounded by Lakewood. Now to Boykins. Boykins around the baseline. Oh, a block called. Boykins missed the shot, but he'll go to the line as Goodman now will pick up his second foul. Looks like a pretty good call by Stevenson, and that is the end of the first half. So Roosevelt leads most of the first half, and they take a 36-31 lead into the locker room over St. Petersburg Lakewood. Marty Palmer along with Mike Raddup will be back for the second half in about eight minutes here on NFHS Network. High point lead at the break for the Mustangs of Roosevelt out of Eastville, California, who were led in the first half by Leo Goodman with 13 points. Also, Marcus Williams had 11, and leading the way for Lakewood was Jacoby Boykins with 12. All right, thank you, Mike. As we start the second half, there's a three by Boykins. Rolls in from the left corner. He now has 15. Only four players have scored, as you said, for Lakewood, but we got Boykins with 15, Lawrence with nine, and Nelson with eight. Now on the other side, one, two, three, seven players have scored for Roosevelt. Leo Goodman with 12, only in double figures. Actually, pardon me, Marcus Williams with 11. And who scored? Leo Goodman. He's got 16 points. And he's got 12. He's got, you mean he's got 14? Let's see, yep. How many did you oh, did he hit a three there? I'm sorry. Yeah, he hit three. 15, yeah. So 39-34. Had we 13 in the first quarter for some reason. 39-34. Boykins will try a three again. He hits the top of the key. 18 for Boykins. They're going back and forth now. Back to a two-point game, 39-37. <clears throat> nice pass. Goodman, again, easy jumper. Can play as many as four. Tomorrow, though, those first two games are elimination games as well. The games at 12:30 and two. Yeah, only four games on Monday, and then thrown away by Lakewood, driving the baseline, laying it in. Tough Halloween had it knocked away, stolen. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one the other way. Jalen Taylor. Nice cross-court pass to Goodman, lays it in, and he draws the foul. You know, but a heads-up play by Jalen Taylor, the sophomore, waiting on his teammate and then getting it inside to Goodman to finish it. It'll be a three-point play opportunity for the senior. Foul is on Jimmy Robinson, his first. Goodman now with 19, trying to get to 20 points with a free throw. And it's back to a four-point lead for Lakewood, you, or for uh, Roosevelt. You mentioned that pass in by Taylor. The assist for Jalen Taylor as the free throw is no good. In and out for Roosevelt. Two-point game. Back across to Taylor. Now at the free throw line, the jumper is good for again for Goodman. Good spot-up jump shot there by the 6'5 senior. 12 in the first quarter, 9 in the third. He didn't score at all in the second. He has 21. There's a three by Boykins. Going to go third quarter out. Also comes Andre Turner, or Adam Turner. He'll be replaced by Chris Seeley. The Nellon Tigers sit next to us, heading to the locker room. They've got the game coming up next against Jacksonville Sandalwood. 
Our fourth and final elimination game today. Goodman outside the free throw line knocks it. Boy, he is quite a shooter today. I mean, he's got 11 in the quarter, 23 for the game. Yeah, he is on fire again. Dohe inbounds it. Goodman for the free throw line extended. Could again. Man, he makes everything out there. 25 for Goodman. Inbounding will be Taylor. Oh, tipped in the air, ends up in Goodman's hands, and Goodman's foul. They're going to get Clark on his third foul. Non-shooting foul. Yeah. That is the... All right, welcome back here to... Well, that play really developed because of Darquez Watson. He's not in the scorebook today, but he boxed out to get that last rebound. Setting up Boykins. Here's Goodman driving down the middle lane, and he does lay it in. First basket of the fourth quarter for Goodman. He has 29, joining Boykins. And Roosevelt down four, 77-73, 230. A two-point lead for Lakewood. Lawrence driving. Nice pass underneath. Reverse, though, missed. Clark wanted a foul underneath. No call. Here comes Webb the other way. Webb over to Goodman. Goodman for three. It's short. Loose ball won by Williams. Williams put back good. Tied again. Williams with 17. Timeout by the Roosevelt Mustangs. Pull it back out. Now to Lawrence. Lawrence, plenty of room down the middle of the paint. Driving up and in. Missed a shot or had it blocked. Late foul call. Yeah. If that's on Goodman, that's he's his out. Fifth. That is a big loss, and Goodman is out. Five fouls. And Leo Goodman's got a foul out with 29 points. What a game for Leo Goodman today. But he fouls out with 122 to go in the fourth quarter. He's the high point man at the tournament. 44 points for the Mustangs. And into the game, Adam Turner will return. 